So, hello fellow banknote collectors, and in today's video, uh, we're just going to look at some new banknotes that are actually purchased. So, I have actually got four, and, well, well look at the least valued. So, this is a Irish one pound from 1974. So, as you can see, you've got the day, the month, and the year. So, the 17th of May. 1974. And the first thing you'll notice is that it has an allegorical feature of a woman and it has all the wording in English and in Irish uh, Gaelic. So it's one pound punt in Gaelic and well, I'm not even going to Ireland. So that's the name of the country Ireland. Ireland. And it sounds pretty similar. It's quite a nice banknote. Does it have a watermark? Yes, it does. Let's try it. And this one's quite well circulated, so the watermark is actually hard to tell. Um, now it looks like a figure, a head of a woman. So, and on the back we have. I believe that's a one of the gods of Ireland. Sorry, that is the Shannon spirit, which I know absolutely nothing about. But it should be fascinating to actually read up something on Irish mythology. Uh, because we do actually know a lot about the actual gods that were worshipped before takeover Christianity. You know, not only the Irish culture, but also the Slavic uh, the Baltic, uh, the Germanic cultures as well. So it's quite nice. So what would that actually be valued at? So if we go over to eBay, uh, Ireland, 1974 pound. You should actually count something. It shouldn't actually be a rare banknote. Okay, so... Then we got the lowest. The lowest I got in now circulated is $75. So, $75. Uh, I've. It shouldn't actually be that rare. But, got about $50. But they're all uncirculated. So, I would say. That's a £5. Yeah, probably about $10 to $15. It will be my guess, but I need to actually look it up and see if it's actually a rare banknote. And then we have some Hong Kong banknotes. So we have the ten dollar banknote. So this is the last of the HSBC. This is nineteen eighty eight. Should be pretty common. Probably worth about five dollars, I'd say. It's in pretty good condition. You can actually get these sometimes in circulation in Hong Kong because it's the same size as the current banknote, except it's just different colour. And with a recession or depression that's actually going around the world, uh, a lot of these old banknotes would actually be spent because people can't, either in the past they haven't been able to sell it, or now they're just getting desperate, they just need to use it. So that's actually, uh, if you look at the, what's that, half dollar make you holler? Uh, they go through old banknotes and actually come up with old banknotes all the time. And now, as people get more desperate, it'll just get worse. And then we have two radar banknotes. So, why they radar? Because it's got 138, 831, so back and forwards are actually the same. This is 883388. And... 8, 8 and 3, 3 is actually pretty good to have on a banknote because Chinese culture, they, they're actually a positive thing. If you have 4, it means uh, you know, equivalent to death. So, And this one's a $10 from 1981. So a normal Hong Kong banknote from 1981 probably doesn't really reach much of a high value. Okay, so if we look up Hong Kong... 
we've got the bank notes. I would say in this condition you're probably looking at five to ten dollars for just a normal one. But a banknote that is a radar will actually incur a premium. So uh, come up one in poorer condition, nine dollars. Okay, another one. Okay, you got your charter bank, thirteen dollars. So you got two together, eighteen dollars. In looks like pretty good condition. So this one, this one's hard to actually gauge value, but generally banknotes like this go for uh, probably upwards of a hundred dollars. That's just a guess. I need to actually do some more research on it. And then there is a another one. Oh, sorry, I forgot to show. Just tell you what's actually on this banknote. So it just has wording on it. It's all in English and Chinese, so uh, you don't actually need to know both languages. And you've got the coat of arms HSBC, an allegorical figure of a woman. And on the back, we have the old HSBC building. I think that was torn down in the 80s. And then we have uh, Britannia as a or Roman soldier. Roman helmet as a watermark, and it's actually quite a nice banknote. Then we have the five dollar banknote that was replaced in 1976 with a coin, and this one let's just move that out of the way. This one's pretty much uncirculated, uh, and as you can see, it's a radar, so it actually incurs a premium. And on the back we have the same, because they're actually the same series, has the same bank building on the bank note. The watermark is also the same. So this bank note, okay, let's have a look, 1969. 69, $5. So... This would actually incur a premium because it's a radar banknote. So, uh, let's have a look at what it's actually selling on. So, as you can see, an uncirculated banknote, $40 is the minimum. Let's we'll see here. Yes, yeah, so $40. Okay, I've got the filter out. Okay, car parts. Wow. So, $40. That's for sale and yeah so you're talking about an expensive banknote and EF my mine might be almost uncirculated uncirculated need to actually look at it better but as you can see that banknote is actually quite expensive and because it's a radar I would say it actually doubled the price so probably close to a hundred dollars I would actually figure that a banknote actually would go for. Do we have any sold items? Probably. Probably find my one in there because that's where I got it from eBay. As you can see, the well circulated banknotes don't actually go for much. Okay, how about this one? $15 for a banknote in that condition. Okay. So that, that's actually quite an expensive banknote. So that's why you should actually be shopping around. You should actually be shopping around and looking. Uh, don't just buy the first thing you actually come across. Check the price. I, I would say these ones I actually purchased for like $20. So I reckon it's a good pickup. And something you should actually be uh, looking into.